Welcome to Cancer Explained. My name is Dr. Aziza Sisei, and I'm here today with Dr. Haley McKenzie to talk about how breast cancer is treated stage by stage. We're going to guide you through most common symptoms to look out for, learn how people get a diagnosis and treatment options available. So Dr. Haley, let's go back to basics. What exactly is breast cancer? So cancer is a disease where the cells grow in an abnormal way and they form a lump called a tumor. So breasts are where the milk is made and the most common type of breast cancer starts in the milk ducts but grows outside into the surrounding tissue. And that type of breast cancer can be invasive or non-invasive. And today we're going to talk about Invasive, invasive breast cancer. Yes. Okay. So who's at risk of breast cancer? Anybody who has breast tissue can get breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So that includes women, people assigned female at birth, or trans men. Men can also get breast cancer, but it's much less common. So what are the main symptoms of breast cancer? So the most common symptom of breast cancer is a lump in the breast. Mm -hmm. Not all lumps are cancer, but if you are concerned, you should go to your GP. Other symptoms can include a change in the skin, mm -hmm. either a thickening of the skin or dimpling. Mm -hmm. It could also be a change in size or shape of the breast, mm -hmm. or it could be a lump under the armpits. That's really helpful because a lot of people assume that breast cancer symptom is just a lump. That's right. Yeah, it can be a few other things as well. So any change in the breast, and you should get that checked out by your doctor. So how exactly is breast cancer diagnosed? Typically, you'll get referred by your GP into a breast clinic. Um, and there they may do a type of x-ray of the breast called a mammogram. Mm -hmm. So this is a mammogram of the, of the breast. Mm -hmm. um, this is normal breast tissue around here. And this here, this abnormal area where it's more white, yeah. could indicate an underlying cancer that warrants further investigation. At the breast clinic, they may also do an ultrasound. Mm -hmm. That's of the breast and the underarm as well, and that looks at the lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. And following that, if there's any concern, they may consider doing a biopsy. Mm -hmm. And that's where a sample of tissue is taken mm -hmm. and to determine whether the changes they've seen on the images mm -hmm. are due to cancer. And when you say ultrasound scan, how do they do that exactly? So it's a, it's a probe with some jelly on the end mm -hmm. and, and a specialist doctor called a radiologist mm -hmm. Um, would apply that to the breast and have a look and see if there's any abnormalities on the ultrasound. What happens when someone is diagnosed with breast cancer? What's the next step? They may wish to do a CT scan or an MRI scan mm -hmm. to further evaluate whether there's been any spread from the breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, the biopsy will also determine how um, the cancer cells look under a microscope, um, and that's called the grading. And that indicates how likely it is that the breast cancer may spread. What are the stages of breast cancer? So doctors use different staging systems for breast cancer, uh, but generally they can be divided into early stage, locally advanced or advanced. Early stage breast cancer is where the disease is confined to the breast or to a few lymph nodes in the underarm. So the lymphatic system is shown here, and these include the lymph nodes in your armpit, and that's usually the first place that breast cancer spreads to. So locally advanced breast cancer is where it has spread to the lymph nodes in the armpit, yeah. the skin, or the chest wall muscle. That's really helpful. So what exactly is advanced? So advanced breast cancer is where it's spread outside this local area to other organs, such as the liver or the lungs. You mentioned earlier about grading. How do we differentiate between high grade and low grade? This is a healthy cell. This is a low-grade cancer cell, so it looks not too dissimilar to the healthy cell. Yeah. And this is a high-grade cell, so that looks very different from the healthy cell. And it will look very different under the microscope, have different features mm -hmm. that you don't see in the normal cell. So that means it's more likely to grow or spread. Thank you. Nisha was 29 years old when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Earlier, I spoke to her about her signs and symptoms. So before my diagnosis, I was working in the makeup industry. I loved it so much, the hustle, the bustle, and I was actually three months away from my wedding day. Wow. So yeah, so planning the wedding, lots of meetings with bridesmaids, colour schemes, honeymoon destinations, things like that. Lots of lists. So there was yeah. a lot of lists going <laughs> and on. And spreadsheets, I bet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was 
full, it was busy and uh, it was great. It was tiring and now I look back, I can understand why uh, it was tiring. Um, but yeah, life was really good. But did you notice any other symptom apart from the tiredness? Yeah, I was uh, having a little snooze on the sofa for my little puppy, Betty. And she usually lies on my side and she just kept pouring at me and pouring at me. And I, I just went ah. and I, I clutched uh, my right side of my chest yeah. and I instantly felt something uh, just under my right breast. And instantly there was that dread. It was definitely... Um, large it was definitely something there yeah. and uh, I went straight to my uh, my husband who was my future husband then and um, yeah he said there's definitely something there yeah. um, and from there it was a phone call to the GP yeah what did it feel like it was just very firm to yeah. the touch um, and you know thankfully you've got two so you can compare and when I did compare, there was nothing on the other side yeah. and that difference really alarmed me. Mm. Um, and being bigger chested, you always get lumps and bumps and yeah. things like that. But this was definitely something more tangible, something that I felt that dread within me. Um, and I thought I need to get it checked out. And breast cancer is something that ran in my f uh, family as well. So I knew it was something that I needed to look into and, and pay attention to. So what are the treatment options then for breast cancer? So for early stage and for locally advanced, advanced breast cancer, the main treatment is surgery. You may be offered breast conserving surgery. So that's our tumor. Okay. And during that, the surgeon will remove only the lump as well as some surrounding normal tissue. The other option is having a mastectomy and that's where all of the breast tissue is removed. Men are usually offered a mastectomy um, because there's not enough breast tissue to offer them breast conserving surgery. You may also have um, a few lymph nodes removed from under your arm to check if the cancer has spread. You can also have reconstruction after mastectomy surgery, right? That's correct. You will usually be offered a reconstruction either at the same time as the mastectomy or a later date, but you don't have to have one. It's a personal choice. Okay. Um, if you have breast conserving surgery, you will usually be offered radiotherapy afterwards. Can you explain exactly what that is? So radiotherapy uses high energy rays called radiation to destroy cancer cells. Mm -hmm. And that might be given after breast conserving surgery to the breast um, or to the underarms or the chest wall. The radiation is given like this. And these are our normal cells and these are our cancer cells. There may be a few normal cells damaged, even though the radiotherapy is given in a targeted way. And that can give some side effects from the radiation. Is breast cancer treated with chemotherapy as well? So if the breast cancer is of a type that may mean it's more likely to grow or spread, mm -hmm. you will still be offered surgery, but you may also be offered chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is a drug treatment that's given through the bloodstream so it travels around the body and makes the cancer less likely to spread. What are the other types of treatments? So there are some other type of treatments for breast cancer and that includes hormone therapy, targeted therapy and immunotherapy. So how does that work? So about 70% of breast cancers are estrogen positive or ER positive. Mm -hmm. And that means that the breast cancer cell has got an estrogen receptor on the surface. So we make estrogen and progesterone all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and when you have breast cancer, this estrogen positive, the estrogen molecule, you could think of this as the key, can lock into the estrogen receptor. That's the lock. Mm -hmm. And that encourages the breast cancer cell to grow. So doctors may offer you hormone therapy, which is a drug treatment that can be given by tablet or injection and is normally taken for a number of years. Hormone therapy can work in two different ways. Mm -hmm. So tamoxifen blocks the receptor. When we've been through the menopause, most of our estrogen is made in the fatty tissue. And so in that situation, you would be given aromatase inhibitors, which reduce the amount of estrogen. And by either blocking the receptor or reducing the amount of estrogen, you're stopping that breast cancer cell from growing or spreading. You also mentioned target therapies. What are those? So about one in five breast cancers are called HER2 positive, mm -hmm. where there's too much of a protein called HER2 on the surface. Mm -hmm. And this encourages the cell to divide and grow. And we have targeted drugs such as Herceptin uh -huh. that can lock onto that receptor 
and stop the breast cancer cell from growing. Wow, okay, so anyone can have hormone or targeted therapy? No, so some people have a type of breast cancer that doesn't have any HER2 receptors or estrogen receptors. And we call that triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is more common in women under 40 or black women, but anybody can get it. Men can get it too, but that's really quite rare. Okay, so then what treatment do you give patients with triple negative breast cancer? So they will generally have a combination of surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And for women with early stage triple negative breast cancer, we can also offer a treatment called immunotherapy with a drug called pembrolizumab. That drug works with your own immune system to help attack the breast cancer cells. Thank you. Earlier, I met with Nisha to talk about her experience with breast cancer. One of my first things was, well, we'll just cut it out, just get it out of me. Yeah. And I didn't really know a lot about the world of breast cancer, I really didn't. So I didn't understand that there was different types. So I got told I had triple negative breast cancer. So again, really didn't know what that meant. So come the next week, I had lots of initial testing, MRIs, uh, CT scans, more mammograms. Then they could actually pinpoint what type of cancer I had, what stage it was at and what grade it was at. Mm -hmm. And again, I didn't understand those terms. So um, finding out what all that meant was another weight on my shoulders, mm -hmm. knowing that it's triple negative, which means it's harder to treat. Um, and finding out that it's stage three, so it had progressed so much that it had gone to my lymph nodes. So it, there really wasn't a lot of time after those first initial tests before the chemotherapy started. Yeah. So I was on four different types of chemotherapy. Wow. Um, and I was lucky enough to be on a trial drug um, for Laparib, mm. but I just felt that it was something important to do, and I was lucky to be on that. Um, and now it is available on the NHS, which is amazing. So, yeah. Um, so four different types of chemotherapy, and that was every week. Yeah, there's a lot of appointments. <laughs> there's a lot of time you spend at the hospital. You yeah. become fast friends with everyone there, um, which is sad but also beautiful. So there's so many lovely people there who really looked after me. And then after the chemotherapy, um, it was straight on to surgery. Yeah. So I initially had a double mastectomy and a full lymph node clearance in my right side. And then after the surgery, the next step was radiotherapy. So what about treatments for those that have cancer that have spread to different parts of the body? So for advanced breast cancer, treatments are given to help symptoms and also to control the breast cancer for as long as possible. It can't be cured, but treatments are advancing so that people are living longer than ever before. Um, what are the treatments that can help? So it will depend on your, the type of breast cancer you have, you as a person and your medical history, your symptoms and what your previous treatments have been. It can be a combination of chemotherapy, radiotherapy, targeted therapy, hormone therapy and immunotherapy for triple negative breast cancer. So there is a vast amount of different treatments we can give. Okay, that's, that's great. That means that there is hope. Thank you. Due to surgery, I have lymphedema in my right side. Uh, the fatigue is something that still affects me now. It's a long-lasting effect fruit from chemotherapy. Losing my hair was very difficult because you think it's just the hair on your head, but it's also your eyebrows, um, yeah, which is awful. So, yeah, drawing my eyebrows back on was uh, funny at times. A lot of the chemotherapy drugs do make you sick, um, and I thought it would be like watching a you know a film uh, one of these films about cancer that it would just be one thing after another but it really isn't one day you'll feel fine and then two days later you'll be absolutely sick and not be able to move it's very hard to plan things because you want to get up and enjoy life and still keep going and show people you're okay but unfortunately you'll wake up one day and you'll just feel completely drained barely able to get out of bed so with the chemotherapy there's a lot of different side effects and with those a lot of different drugs to manage those side effects what is news on your health now 
other than the checkups, I'm cancer free. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. And I'm just um, focusing on what makes me happy and it's been a good few years. So I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling happy. Thank you so much, Tanisha, for sharing her experience with us. And thank you so much, Haley, for your incredible explanations. Oh, you're very welcome. I hope it was helpful. It was very helpful. Thank you. Remember, the main symptom of breast cancer is a lump in the breast or the armpit. But any changes to your breast or symptoms that are ongoing, unexplained or unusual should be checked by your GP. If you're worried, speak to your doctor. For more information or support, call 0808-808-0000 or visit macmillan.org.uk. Before you go, if you found our conversation on breast cancer insightful, helpful or useful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also like this video and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.